Hello guys, welcome to my channel Art Saga and to the video series called Hini Series. Today we will learn about what is a detail line and a model line. Before we start, please like and subscribe this channel and this video so I can make more video for you guys. So let's start. So what is a detail line? Detail line is only a view specific line. It is an annotative line. So you can find a detail line in annotate and here is a detail line. The shortcut for detail line is DL. So you can draw it on any view but it would be only view specific. You can draw it on section, you can draw it in elevation and you can draw it on plan but none of the elements would be seen outside the view. So if I draw anything on this view, I cannot see this line in 3D. So there is no line in 3D. I can only see in this plinth view. So you can use detail line to show some line objects. So if I want to show some chhajja over this window, I can show it. So I have placed DL and the modify section tab is activated. Now I can use these line types. So I will select line and I will just drop down and there are some options for lines. So I will just select an overhead line. It is an dotted line or an hidden line, a dashed line. So this is my indication of my chajja which is over my window. And I can see a annotation or chajja annotation in the plan. So I can draw some more lines over the plan as per the annotation. I can also draw some lines over the section. So if I draw a section from here and I'll say go to view here, I can see some windows here. So now I want to add a glazing lines here. So what I'll do, I'll just press DL. I'll just select some thin lines from the line style and I'll zoom in and I'll add some glazings. So I'll just make some glazing pattern. So you can understand we have a glass indication here. I will just select all the lines. I will go to modify tab again and create a group. I will say glazing lines and this is my glazing lines group. I will just copy it from one glass to the another, uh, another glass. So I can add some detail lines like this. I can also use annotations for showing annotations in the walls, in the slab or in the foundation. You can use detail line for that but make sure it is only view specific. I'll again go back to my plinth level. If I go and select these three lines which I have drawn for my window annotation or the chajja annotation. So I'll just select it, go to again modify lines and I will just convert line. So my detail lines would be converted into model lines. So model line is a 3D line. Model line can be used to represent a space, a three dimensional space without a volumetric geometry. So if I draw a line, a model line on this plan, I can also see it in 3D, I can also see it in elevation and a section. I'll just convert it. So the warning is here, Revit converted three lines. And I'll just go to my 3D view and I can see the model lines in my elevation here sorry in my 3d view here so just like that you can use model lines now i will show you one more example how you can use model lines uh, if you have an area a rectangular area so i'll just create some walls and i'll use rectangle and create a wall uh, let's just assume this is a bas basketball court and i want to draw some lines which represents the area of the basketball court so i'll just use the model lines so model lines you can Check it in architecture tab and in the model tab here. So the model line, the shortcut command is li. So what I'll do, I'll just say li. Again, just like detail lines, the same tab will open of modify place lines. And you can draw lines by using these commands. Again, in the line styles, you will have same entries here. So I'll just select thin lines and I'll just draw some. Uh, and I'll just draw and prepare a basketball coat or any coat for an example. This may not be accurate but this is just an example. So I'll just draw some lines here and I'll create a basketball coat or let's say a football coat 
or anything I'll just create some more lines and this let's say some more lines here I will now go to 3D and you can see my lines are visible in 3D view also so model lines can be used in 3D space also which represents a line without a volumetric geometry so guys today we learned about what is a detail line and what is a model line and where it can be used in our upcoming videos we will learn more about detail line and drafting views so please like and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for my next video